with his wife, his daughter-in-law and his grandchildren on a family vacation. At this season of the year, close to the anniversary of the First World War's armistice, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, thoughts turn to the mercy of our deliverance in two desperate worldwide wars and to the men and women who fought in those conflicts but did not survive them. 1952 is the 10th anniversary of the Dieppe Raid. Survivors returning to the battleground search among the graves for the names of Canadian comrades who fell in that heroic assault. And each year D-Day sees a pilgrimage to the Normandy beaches where the lessons of Dieppe were so well applied. These thoughts are of the past. What of the present? A war still rages in Korea, and the rows of crosses in that far distant land tell their tragic individual stories of continuing heroism. Before they left Korea, the King's own Scottish borderers visited the cemetery at Pusan for a service of remembrance. We may imagine that there were emotional moments as the young men moved among the graves of well-remembered comrades. So it is with national remembrance. In the Garden of Remembrance outside Westminster Abbey, our young queen planted her cross for the 1952 observance. This is a symbolic act expressing the nation's faithful determination to cherish a Garden of Remembrance in our hearts. <laughs> 